Hello and welcome to game one between Valdemar and Rambi. It's gonna be a troll on troll action again. Chieftain versus Chieftain. We have double hunt, triple hunt for Rambi. And double hunt for Valdemar. Let's see how that plays out. Let's see how that plays out. Should be pretty nice and spicy. I'm curious to see if um, we're gonna try and keep an eye on the, each other's economy to see who's gonna pull ahead. So Rambi can afford that smasher now. Valdemar has gotten his first smasher out as well, but already is upgrading his side of things. Looks like Rambi is gonna go for a two smasher start with his three hunting cups. And could even Vinny in the chat, but unfortunately it's gonna be two minutes late until you hear that. So no chit chat today. We have things to cast. He is ready to do his duty. Let's see how it goes. So Valdemar with that Early boys, he okay. He has not queued up anyone, so this should come up first. Yeah, looks like he's l late on the tree chopper, so needs to place one of these stone breakers uh, later, so he gets the wood in time. That's a little bit of an optimization he could do on his build here. Versus Rambi, kind of just seems to like to wait for all of his things to come in before he hits the trigger on the upgrade. The we will see, we will the see. Land grows. grows, indeed. Level 3. Curious to see if we're gonna see like a troll guard approach this time around in the troll versus troll. Just like so oh god, not having upgraded this. The Eye if Valdemar would have taken grows. advantage of that, I'm not quite sure if Saitama could have stopped it. Ah, uh, not Saitama, apologies. Rambi. So many trolls today in this group. Triple troll versus the poor Krios on the human. But so far only Saitama getting the real hang of it. Okay, no early purchases there. Looks like, yeah, Rambi might go for it. Yep, go shopping. So I want to say that Valdemar has a little bit of a better economy. Rambi, yeah, Rambi is Rambi's one isn't even up yet. And I believe, well, Rambi has one more smasher. The question is, can he leverage that enough to his advantage to get anything going? We'll see, we'll see. Smash on smash action, stick on stick. Do have our big axe here as the first purchase for Rambi. There we go, nice easy clear, always satisfying to see. Valdemar still on one base. Okay, grabs the another one in the northeast. Not a bad shot. Can get scrapped there. No troll guard. As of yet. Let's see. And he does have more territory than his enemies. So can he keep him away from his? That's the big question and keep that advantage. He does not have any items yet, so that axe might just come in handy here. Trying to cleave through them, but the Eye of the Tribe got some good shots in. So making up for the lack of DPS there. The 
It's so weird how slow a troll versus troll can be in feel. While the troll versus any other matchup always gets spicy pretty quickly. And just looking at them, like they're not they're not slower than any other units. It's just because they are so big it looks a lot slower. So you just kinda chill, stand back. And watch things unfold. Oh, I have to try the comes in just in time. That troll's in trouble, but sprints away. Doesn't try to catch him. Just a lot of jostling for position. Very nice. Uses a smasher down here to go with the eye banner. Good to see. Keep him back. No one's going for the Medusa at six minutes in a troll game. What is going on? Things are weird, man. Things are weird. Pew, 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 pew. But Valdemar with a double godstone control. Pretty spicy. Gives the trolls a little bit of mobility to get their big behinds across the map. There we go. Nice pull. Okay, couldn't turn around and smack it. Smack it before it leaves! Rip. That's like a man to have move. I always do that. Oh, that's cute. I didn't... Know. Wait, they use shields? Or is that just a plundered shield? As decoration. That they have... Oh, they even have piggies. They have piggies and oxes. They like it chunky. And meaty, apparently. There we go. Valdemar is the first one to go, but I really un don't understand. I guess. But I don't think it's gonna do enough. Why well, he wouldn't go for his own Medusas. But we will see. First, we need to see Valdemar leverage that level advantage. just feels so calm. Like, I'm way too relaxed. I should be s commenting on more stuff, but there's just... Trolls go around, smack things. Some more trolls go around and smack things. It's just so chill. See some... A throwing camp being added there. But I feel like Valdemar is a bit ahead of the troll count. Six versus... Eight? Okay, wait, hang on. The tribe can rely on him. Enemies are attacking. Okay, never mind. For a second I thought he was ahead and pop while having less units. That would have really, really confused me. Smash on smash axis. Jeez, look at the range. Like, they don't care about people going out of their attack range. They still get the hits in. I think that's one of the reasons why they are so powerful. Because a lot of other units from the base factions do struggle with things getting out of their attack range, whereas the smashers, they just don't care. They always get their hits and as long as they start the animation. I think if they tune this for them down a little bit, so it's not like ridiculous like we just saw, and buff it up for the other factions, that really might resolve some of those issues we constantly see, with orcs being so goddamn powerful. I'm not saying it's gonna fix the entire thing, but it definitely would help to give the other factions more of a chance. Yep, oh! There we go. It is not a disengagement tool. That's why I like this ability. You have to know how, when and how to use it. You can't just get away with it, literally. Alright, goes after the throwers, but the smasher's getting stuck here on the other smashers. Which kind of completely negates that whole operation. Oh, oh, oh just ch trolls chasing trolls. Not even anything's dying. Oh, it's been a long day. Apologies. Kind of want to see a tr tr tech rushing troll. Okay, double fight huts versus single fight hut. But we're still at least producing from the main. At the moment we're just kind of... Oh, nice. Stone Horizon is actually doing something here. Attacking. 
But this is not gonna... Like, he's trying to push the sector. Well, he should be doing the Medusas with this. This is not a good siege comp. And uh, getting this throwing camp will be nice. It is... Wow, it only has a thousand hit points. So, that harass is pretty good. Wait, so is, is the food... Okay, after this um, battle, we're gonna check on the HP of the troll buildings. Because I have been told they're not actually that squishy. Hunting hut, tree chopper... Okay, they seem to be reasonable. But the uh, food patches and fighting huts seem to be pretty harassable. That's very interesting. So take note of that, boys. Take note of that. You might be able to arrest those options in the late game. Yeah, see the tribe shelters going up. They are pretty normal in terms of health. There we go. Finally gets his Medusas, so at least that should give, give him parity in terms of XP. <laughs> nice control there. Just running around and Valdemar's almost... Eh, it's not entire army. But a decent chunk of it is running after them. The building is done. Oh, it's getting really cold after having the windows open earlier. Okay, we started to turn, turn off the heating now, but it's getting springy. Let's see, do we have a difference in build? Yeah, Valdemar really doesn't like the level 2s here. But cooldown and power. Same over here, just with the addition of come here instead of health. There it is now, none of them picking up junks. Which is interesting. It has been fixed now, so you don't lose it after slamming and dunking. So I'm, I'm still surprised to not see that picked up, but I would also fi need to find out how much damage it actually prevents. Gets rid of the flag here, which is nice. Grab port in the middle is not gonna do much, I think. Well, this, the scrap is down here, so technically, in a troll versus troll, you could kind of sneak up, sneak and just grab that. It's pretty far out of the way. So, your enemy is unlikely to spot your guy unless he accidentally either walks past or gets his own scrapper on top of it. The Great Migration going down south. Bonk bonk. Bonk bonk. Sounds very. Mm, sounds like stones on metal, but this is all wood and stone. So it's a bit of a weird sound effect for this. Uh, it looks like he's gonna give that up, but he's not gonna be fast enough down here. Oh wow, is that the tier 2 armor? I've never seen that one. That is indeed a tier 2 armor and it's very metally. That's interesting. <laughs> Never actually seen that one. It actually looks really good. It almost looks better than a tier 3 one, in my opinion. Very interesting. I think that's genuinely the first time I see it. Behold! Troll metal metallurgy. Just cobbling stuff together until it fits. Oh, Valdemar with a 78 pop cap versus Rambi's 114. Valdemar's economy doesn't seem to be quite on par and he has lost the sector without gaining one. But Rambi's hero has fallen. Versus Valdemar's is in full health and healthy. Also has acquired level 5. Hey, there we go. Some weakening orbs in the matchup. What I it's really what I wanted to see. Good, 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 good. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really running out of fuel here. But there we go, that's a nice trick. Low health thrower goes in, or smasher, and a full health model comes out. Even though they 
get Tinya on the upgrade, which is kind of hilarious. And I really like the harass he's doing here with the singular smashers. Ah, uh, okay, but the food patch does repair damn fast because it just doesn't have any health. So it looks ridiculously fast, even though it's the same. But it's constantly draining wood. It's not much wood, but that's two and counting. Third one should be coming in. Interesting. Sorry, I was spending too much time over there. Tribal Warfares, who's got the bigger club? I feel like Rambi needed to go to the shop. Very nice bomb there. But just a much nicer concave here by our red trolls. Blue trolls seem to have a little bit of trouble getting on target. Pull them back! Pull them back! No! Just lets the young cubs die. Oh, half the throwers of the red side are not attacking here. Uh, but an early GG by Valdemar. Calling it here already. Like we haven't quite caught up, and there we go. GG. Uh, Rambi goes ahead 1 0. There we go. So, yeah, Rambi just for the better economy was able to pump out more stuff. I think that's Valdemar's biggest problem at the moment is having a weird opener build, which doesn't really. Actually, that was Rambi with a weird o triple hunt opener, right? But the rest of uh, the rest seem to be better, which is interesting. But GG will play to him. Let me just go idle. Hello, I'm down here. <laughs> Let me just sit up straight. Ah, so cold, so so cold. And let me just. In a second, all right, let me see if we can jump into game two. Oops, I'm going to stop the recording here. <laughs> See you later, boys, on YouTube for game two.